Imagine if you were forced to move hundreds of miles away from home just because of your ethnicity. This was what happened to more than 120,000 Japanese Americans during the Second World War, including Yuri Kochiyama. Her experience turned her into a powerful advocate for marginalized communities. Born in 1921 in San Pedro, California, Yuri grew up in both Japanese and American cultures. After Japan attacked Pearl Harbor during World War II, the U.S. government suspected some Japanese Americans of spying for Japan. The FBI arrested Yuri's father, who was in poor health. He died shortly after his release from FBI custody. Yuri and the rest of her family were sent to an internment camp in Arkansas. In the camp, she met Bill Kochiyama, and after the war, they married, moved to New York City, and settled in Harlem. Yuri and Bill got involved in the civil rights movement, organizing community meetings in their home to support equal rights for Black Americans. They invited prominent activists like Malcolm X and the Freedom Riders to speak to the community. She also attended demonstrations to protest nuclear weapons and commemorate those lost in the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. As members of Asian Americans for Action, Yuri and Bill testified at hearings, demanding that the government recognize the unfair treatment of Japanese Americans during World War II. When her husband testified in New York, Yuri led other activists carrying signs outside the hearings. Yuri herself later testified in Washington, D.C. Due to their efforts, President Reagan issued a formal apology and Congress granted every survivor $20,000 in reparations. Yuri continued to fight for the rights of others, including those Yuri believed to be wrongfully convicted, and spoke out against racial profiling and anti-Muslim sentiment, particularly after the 9-11 attacks, drawing on her own experiences during World War II. Yuri Kochiyama passed away in 2014. Her lifelong activism and tireless advocacy continues to impact many marginalized communities. How can government reparations help to heal a past injustice? <laughs>